Okay, so I have your explanation. <laughs> um, way too long for TikTok. Okay, so I need you to go to my YouTube. It's I just posted it, and um, it's gonna explain everything. Okay. I know. I know. I know. You can. You can. You can vent down there. It's okay. Okay. I love you guys. Okay. Bye. Okay. So, a couple of things have been going on, and I had to get them resolved before I could let y'all know what was going on. Um, one of them I didn't even tell Philip until like oh, a day ago, two days ago, so he didn't know either. So, the first thing is, is... Um, Philip moved in, and at the same time, I was planning on uh, moving my mother into her own place uh, because the housing market is ridiculous. And so I moved my mom and my brother into another space, and I've been turning this space into basically my studio for work. And that consumed a lot more time than I was anticipating. And so my days were occupied um, with getting my mother situated. And Philip was helping me 110%. And we just recently got the final thing moved in over there. And... The final things moved in here in order to facilitate my business being based out of this space. So that took up a lot of time and physicality of moving and setting stuff up. Uh, a lot more time than I anticipated. I misjudged that. But there is a second thing that was underlying. This is the thing that I didn't even tell uh, Philip about because not because that I don't trust him, but because if I talk about it, I fall into pieces. If I talk about it with someone else, if I handle it myself, then I'm able to get through it in one piece. Um, almost three years ago, um, was the first time in a long time which my stress levels went down. So I had. Um, gotten a job that made me a lot more money and I moved into a place that was not beyond my means financially and um, I didn't have to, to struggle as much as the first time I could even have extra money to eat it even like McDonald's well it turns out um, you heard the adage uh, idle hands are the devil's playground well, apparently with mental illness, when your mind is freed from constantly having background noise of how you're going to pay rent, how you're going to uh, get food, um, how you're going to keep the power on, when that is no longer there, your your mind fills it in with new symptoms, <laughs> new breakthrough symptoms. Um, I was, I'm very self-aware, so I knew what was going on. And I, first I waited to see if it was something that was going to resolve. It didn't. And so then I started, I tried a additional medication that you take along with your main medication and uh, that wasn't going to work because that gave me involuntary movements. Um, and then I started on, uh, I, I upped my saffron. And that worked for a little while, but I was like, how much saffron a day am I supposed to take, you know? And I've been on the same medication since I was 20 years old. And 
my mother had also, we have similar chemistry. She was on that medication as well. And then she changed to a new medication. And I got my mom back. And so I approached the doctor and I explained to him, you know, the whole situation. Because now it's been almost three years of breakthrough symptoms that it was getting to the point where it was disrupting my everyday life. And that's when they become a problem. And so for the first time in 24 years, I changed my medication. And um, most of you know that I have borderline personality disorder. And uh, I went through many, many years of therapy. But there is a a medication side to it that you need. And I was hesitant to try anything different because I've been on that medication for that long. It's worked for that long successfully, you know. Um, and so I changed my medication. And that was the, the final step. And it... This is my very first day on it. This is not a medication that has to wait like Zoloft takes. You have to build it up for about three, three and a half weeks. This one is not like that. And there is a very particular clarity that I woke up with, which I have not felt in a long time. And so I think that changing medications was... A very good idea. And uh, so now uh, the adjusting of my workspace should be done by this. I don't know what today is. What is today? Thursday? Anyway, it should be done by, yes, Thursday, Saturday, uh, Sunday. Everything should be done. At which point, um, I'm going to go back to, I have orders backed up. I have emails backed up. Philip is going to start answering some of my older emails um, so that you understand that I'm not, I haven't forgot you and I didn't ignore you. And the orders will start uh, coming out and being uh, sent out. However, um, just because I had issues does not mean that you guys just have to accept it. So if you are, uh, if you want a refund for your purchases or anything like that, please tell me. I don't have an issue with that. I understand. I'm not going to be angry or anything like that. Um, it's just, I was trying to get through it without anybody noticing, you know what I'm saying? And then that was, like, epically failing. Um, and so, then Philip came to me today and wanted to offer help with the emails. And I was like, okay, well, apparently, I'm really, it's not working. I'm not hiding it very well. <laughs> so, um, this is to explain what has been going on. This was like the last piece of the puzzle to get me going full tilt with my business. And that's what's been going on. So I 100% understand if you, I don't want you to feel bad if you're, you're mad that you haven't got your stuff yet. Don't feel bad about that. What's going on with me doesn't invalidate your feelings. You know what I mean? So if it, you're not happy with me, please send an email. I have no problem. No problems. Um, and, and I'll, you know, I'm, I'm going to be answering the emails now. <laughs> um, I have no problem refunding your money and stuff. Um, but there, there, there. That's the final explanation. And, and on Sunday when I'm finished... I'm going to show y'all everything that that was done because you've seen my my house enough through videos, but I'm going to formally show you everything that was done and um, my mom's space and all that. Okay.
So that's what's been going on. And I'm sorry. I tried to like skeet skeet without uh, you guys knowing that anything was really going down on the down low. And I failed at it, but I was really close, but I still failed at it. Okay. And um, I'll also be putting up or working on my borderline personality disorder videos for YouTube. Um, now that I have the, I guess this plays into that too. Alrighty. Okay. Love, peace, and chicken grease.